Well, good morning, good morning. Hi, it's Teresa here. And I'm up early this morning, so I thought I'd go live for a bit. And um, maybe see if I can finish altering uh, or start altering a little wood paint palette. Uh, just have a little fun and maybe chat if uh, we get a few people in. Let me share this link really quick and uh, then I'll get started. And good morning to everyone. It's only six o'clock here, in Palm Springs, California. It's nice and chilly this morning. It feels great out. Yeah, so, oh, let me change my water really quick. Not sure if I'm going to get any anybody this morning because it is early and people are probably still sleeping. But I'm going to go live anyways and and see what happens. I just, I love this time of year. I love that the weather's getting cooler. The holidays are coming. I just love this time of year. Okay, I'm going to save the big paintbrush for a future project and this one. Um, let's see, this one's a little big for it, I think. So we'll use the smaller one. Is that a sticker on there? No. Let's put a little heat on this. My other heat gun finally gave out, so I had to bring out my other new one, and hopefully it quiets down. If not, please let me know if you watch it later in the comments that it's still really loud. There we go. So these are for another time. All right, let's, let's get some gessoing done.
Everybody's still asleep in the house, so it's nice and quiet. Well, let's start with this little thing, get this one started. So I haven't, uh, I don't have it, uh, the description, in the description, I don't have it linked yet, but um, uh, I have a Zibit store now, I'm doing it with a couple of other ladies, and um, we're putting our creations in there, um, you know, backgrounds, uh, anything we've created, albums, journals, there's all, there's going to be all sorts of different crafts in there, um, and reasonably priced, too. Um, so um, when I go back and edit this video, I will link the description to the Zibit store if you want to check it out. At least just check it out and uh, maybe there's something there you might like. There's all sorts of things. If you like any anything of mine and you would like to own a piece of it, well, there's where you can get it. Um, as well as uh, Tina's Crafty Life, uh, her her um, crafty items will be in there, things that she creates, and also Have At It. That's Miss Jo. Uh, her, her YouTube name is Have At It. Um, she will also be putting some of her things up in there. And let me tell you, she creates some really beautiful, beautiful albums. I mean, you would definitely want to, if you ever want an album, you will definitely want one of hers. They are just absolutely gorgeous. Um, so the three of us are putting our creations in the Zibit store. And um, we're just going to see how it goes, you know, and. I'll also be putting stacks of my backgrounds in there for sale, too. A lot of people like to buy my backgrounds for die cutting and whatnot. You know, all sorts of different things. It's so nice outside. I have my door open. Oh, well, hello, Joe. Good morning. I was, I, yeah, did you feel your ear burning or anything? I was just talking about you. Hey, could you let me know if my, uh, I had to bring out my new heat gun because my other one finally took a, you know, what? And uh, could you let me know if uh, it does go quiet after a couple of seconds? Does it go quiet? It does go quiet? Okay, good. So it's not so bad? Okay, good. Yay. So how was it yesterday? I was wanting to ask you, but I really didn't want to bug you because I knew you had a long, probably just real aggravating day, maybe. I'll let that dry a little bit on its own while I just so this. Let's see. I guess I'll want this side. Okay. It's something with the mic that makes it quiet. Oh, okay. Noise canceling, I guess. Oh, it was a long day. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But I sure hope it worked out for you and everything. I really do. I'm so excited. I Oh, you're going to go to Savannah today? What's uh what's you going to do there? Going to be with mom today and take care of a few things.
they are moving and the dogs are oh well good now now you guys can walk freely you know without being stalked by the dogs not knowing if they're going to do anything or not or attack anybody else or or you're not in, i don't mean attack anybody else or you know go after other people maybe or or you know because people just get intimidated you know what i mean from when we talked about it the other day i love pit bulls myself we do have a an american bull terrier she's not a full-blooded pit bull or anything but um we love her nonetheless so They, oh, see, people need to take care of their stuff. They can't just let animals run free. It's dangerous to people and it's dangerous to the animals. You know, don't people realize that? You can't just let them roam. It's too dangerous for that. Do they not have a, a heart and care about their animals? You know, you hear all the time animals getting put to sleep because they're running around scaring people. Well, that's, you know, they don't need to be running amok all over. They just need to be in their own yards. They had no shots or nothing. Wow. And it doesn't cost that much. I, I think that, you know, if you're going to take on pets, you also got to take on the fact that you're going to maybe have to, you know, do medical for them. Shots. You know, it's just like a person. I mean, I'm not saying that I haven't had animals in my, you know, in my past that didn't have all their shots and things like that, you know, or I've had animals that have had babies and stuff. I'm sure, you know, a lot of us have been there, but, you know, you learn, you learn after a while, you know, you get fine. Hopefully they learn, you know. Oh, I put some stuff up in the exhibit store. I um, I looked around and got a little familiar with the with the store and stuff. I'm so excited about it. And um, you just um, if you could let me know, um, you know, when the next payment, when you want the payment, I I will anytime. I have it at any time. So I altered a, a bigger palette than this, um, and it turned out good. But it was my first one, and I, you know, I wanted to try it again to see, you know, because I'm still learning stuff. So I figured the more practice I get, the better things are going to get. The better my crafts are. It's, it's still a very much learning process for me.
Okay, Joe, wonderful. This is so exciting. I think, you know, it's going to take time, I think, you know, I, I shared it though, but I think, you know, it's going to work. I think it'll do good. You know, it's going to take some time, but uh, we'll get the word out and we'll get our store stocked with merchandise of our creations. And um, I think it's going to go well. It's very exciting. Okay, let's see. I'm going to collage first. I'm going to make some texture actually with some make a little bit of texture with some tissue paper if I can get this box open. I'm just going to use plain old white tissue paper just to get some texture. Well, I don't know. Maybe this No, I'll just use plain old white tissue paper. Oh, I'm also looking forward to uh, this evening. Um, I'll be going live with um, Tina and Kathy. Uh, I think tonight's project will be kind of cool. I've never done anything like it. It's altering clothes pins. So that's going to be fun. Um, and I'm, I'm excited about joining them on their Wednesday nights. We've got um, all of our Wednesday nights planned out until the new year. And um, it's just going to be real exciting. I, I, I love it. I can't wait to just start doing all these different creations. It, it will definitely help me out with all the with everything I'm learning. It'll take me in a new a new direction of, of learning things. Yeah, I know. I'm so happy for her. She already I can't believe she already sold something. That is so cool. I remember when she told me the other night or yesterday maybe, she was so excited about it. And I, I knew she wanted to tell you. She was so excited to be able to tell you. And it's fairly simple to, to get used to it, too, to understand, you know, what to do on there. Rumple it up and get myself some texture going. Oh, I can't wait because uh, I forget which Wednesday it is. I have it all on my calendar, but we're going to alter glass bottles. I've never done that, so that's going to be fun. Real fun. Didn't want it. There we go. I am going to. Oh no, I forget it. I won't put no gloves on. We'll just get messy, 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 messy. I don't mind getting messy.
want to put this on here, but I'm not going to lay it out flat because I want to create some texture. But let's load this up with some matte gel. No, I don't want to rip you. Come on, take it easy there. Just want to create some good texture. Have a one well try to have a good day and and um we'll see you when you get done or we'll talk to you a little later thank you for tuning in for a little bit i appreciate it as always You too, Joe. <laughs> I didn't even hear you get up. My husband got up and he scared me. I didn't hear him get out of bed. I'm still just putting on some matte medium right now to glue everything down. Let's try it some.
much different holding my heat gun like this i'm used to the handheld the one you hold like a gun <laughs> it'll just take some use getting used to All right, let me see. I think I need to glue the edges down a little bit better. So bad. I'm going to apply a layer of clear gesso over. It'll just make it easier to put other mediums on top. This belongs on this. Let's 
so to seal. Okay, putting some clear gesso on now. I don't know, just putting the clear gesso on the top of it just um, it makes it easier to add some paints or, you know, different different things you want to add on top. I could have used the regular gesso, but it's already white tissue paper, so let's give this a try. It is just about dry, and then we can start to do some different stuff. I'll put on some more texture. We've got the texture from the tissue paper. Now I want to add some texture paste with the stencil next.
let's see, I think I'm going to use the new, this, um, either this lace stencil or this circle stencil I got yesterday. Maybe this one. I don't know if I want that one or if I want the lace. Maybe the lace. Okay. Do the circles. Let me get my stencil bucket ready. Let's put my dirty stencils in. It's so just a bucket of water. Honey, do you want the remote or something? Today I'm just going to use some Artist Loft modeling paste. I'll take this down for a minute. I love using that thing though, by the way. Well, I guess I can keep it up. It ain't going to matter. I thought it was making the stencil poke up some, but it's not. So it'll be fine. Oh my goodness, I have too much stuff over here. Where is the palette knife that I want? I cannot. Oh, there it is. There it is. Well, you know, how about the course? molding paste. Yeah, let's use the coarse. This is by Golden, or yeah, Golden Coarse Molding Paste. I, I love this kind. I've already gone through a jar of it. It's a little bit gritty, but it works beautifully. There's a lot of dots. Let's clean it up so.
Now we get to do the good old drying part. Oh, it's getting daylight now. I just seen that. What I'm going to do with the paintbrush is I'm going to paint it black because I'm going to have the palette here full of a bunch of beautiful colors. And so the paintbrush stands out. I'm going to color it black all the way up into the bristles and then add some, uh, I don't know, some jewels or something on the handle. See if you can see the circles a little bit. I guess you can. No, yeah. I start pulling out the colors I want while I'm still drying them. Come down magenta, that one seems pretty. Now 
You know, I do always seem to go for the pinks and greens, but they're and blues. They're my favorite colors, so you know, it's just worth working with them. See what we get with those pinks and purples and turquoise. Just a little bit longer. And the cool thing about the coarse molding paste is when it's dry, it fluffs up. So it's, it's, it gives, it's really good on the texture. Right. Just needs to cool down a bit. little buffer out real quick before I add the corn. Hi, Ray. Good morning. What you doing? Getting ready to start your work day or are you working? Yeah, working. Um, oh, yeah, I sent you the tracking yesterday. You should get your package within the next day or two. With your oxide sprays, I believe that's what it was. <laughs> I had a few other packages, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it was. It's just been a nice, quiet morning. Um, I'm guessing everybody's still probably pretty much sleeping or 
doing their morning duties or house cleaning and drinking some coffee, things like that. But it's been fairly quiet. Joe was here earlier. She's got some things to do today. I guess she's got to go to Savannah or something. Oh, yeah, she's not here anymore. All right, that's good enough. I'm going to start with this real light, uh, actually this one. It's uh, Light Rose. It's an Amsterdam ink. Kinda wanna get this pink all over it. So in most spots of it. I pretty much have to dry each layer so the colors work really well. I don't want them to blend too much. Because they'll all blend at the end. They'll look good together. Um, no, not an auction. Well, I'm thinking of having an auction, um, maybe in the beginning of November, but I haven't decided yet. I need to decide real soon so I can list it, but, um, not as far, not that I've heard, not another auction for Joan or anything, not, not that I know of, but one of, one for myself, I'm thinking of having, I need to get rid of some of this stuff. Um, but in my auction, if I have it in November, it's going to have uh, some of my creations and then um, uh, items that are brand new, craft items. Most, most of my items are, will start out at a dollar, but some will start out a little bit more. But nothing that I know of of a big auction... I didn't get to see what the prompt was um, what, that's how to dry. in Mandy's group for next for this Saturday coming up. So you guys will have to tell me unless you already know it what it what it the uh, prompt will be for the art journal. I'm real excited because I do the Saturdays with you guys and then I do Wednesdays with Kathy and Tina. So it's, it's nice having a few planned out things for me to do during the week. So many of these Bombay Amsterdam inks of card in this container I have it in to find the ones I want. But it's my room. I have to, you know, they're all together because uh, I can't like set them out 
you know, line them up or anything, my inks, because of the space I have. But it, it works. <laughs> yeah. You're making me think of Christmas, Ray. Oh, that's the prompt. Sugar and spice and everything nice. That's what I'm <laughs> I'm guessing. That's what the prompt is. Oh, interesting. Interesting. If, if I'm correct, if that's what you're telling me, that's what the prompt is. <laughs> okay, cool. Oh, good. That gives me a little bit of time to think about it. And I promise I won't leave all of a sudden like I had to. I'll make sure that I'm well fed and and everything. I just got the shakes really bad. I'm I'm borderline diabetic, but I don't take any medicine or anything. But um, I didn't eat that day, and I should have known it was going to happen. I get real shaky if I don't have nothing in my system. So I'm just altering this little wood palette. I've done a bigger one, but I kind of like the idea of doing a littler one. This one I'll probably hang here in my RV since it's small enough. But the bigger one I'm either going to sell at my auction or put it in the Zibit store. All right, let's go on to the next color. Oh no, I'll make sure that I'm feeling good and everything. I won't do that again. That that just uh I only let that happen once in a while. So this time I'm gonna use sky blue light. I enjoy going live with you, Ray. It's nice, it's it's fun. I think we have a lot of fun. And you create very, very well. So, I mean, great, actually. So, and it's fun to do that. You know, with it's fun to create with people that also create good. It's like baby blue and pink right here. Just move them a little bit, not too much. Give this a try. Now the brush I'm gonna put on here, I'm gonna paint it black except the bristles. That way you can see it well because my last one I included the the brush with the colors of the palette and it, it looks really good, but it's a little difficult to see the paint brushes. Thank you. I appreciate that.
I'll be going live again later on this um, evening um, with Tina and Kathy for their Wednesday night craft night. We'll be altering clothespins, so that'll be a little bit of a challenge for me. I've never done anything like that. I have something in mind, thanks to good old Pinterest. <laughs> but uh, I, I obviously, I'm not going to copy the exact thing that I saw, but it'll be my interpretation of it. All right, let's see. I'm going to use turquoise green next, I believe. Yeah. And the first three colors that I've used are all Amsterdam ink. Hi, Brittany. How are you? Thank you for coming to my live stream. I'm just altering a, a little uh, wood paint palette here. If you like to watch uh, live crafting and stuff, I do it every so often on my channel and other people's channels. But if you like what you see, maybe hit that subscribe and and ring the bell and you can see me anytime I'm live. All right, let's get ready for our turquoise green. I'm not gonna use as much. Because the more colors I put on, the less color I'll use when I put another color on. I don't want to cover up. I want to see a little bit of every color. Yes, I will do the same. That was cool of you, Ray. And after I dry this one really quick, I'm going to use some um, pearlescent colors. The FW ink ones, Dela Rowney, but they'll be pearlescent.
So I've already got that in my head, Ray. Sugar and spice and everything nice. Boy, that could be so many different things. I'm excited about that one too now. I think I'll do a double page spread for that one or a two page spread. Hi, Kilburn's Creations. Good morning. How are you? almost dry then we're going to add the next color will be this uh, fw pearlescent and it's sundown magenta sundown magenta oh fussy cutting oh boy I'll do it, but I don't like to. Probably because I don't cut very well. I cannot cut a straight line. So, I mean, I've only, I think, fussy cut it maybe five times. But, you know, I'm sure I'll have more. You know, I, I haven't had to fussy cut very much of anything. I get aggravated sometimes <laughs> fussy cutting. <laughs> and I, like I said, I've only done it, a, you know, maybe five times. All right, so let me make sure that this is going to... I haven't used this color in quite some time, so let me make sure it's going to come out all right. Oh, and it does. Good. You don't like the fussy cut either? Yeah, I don't know. I just... Like, when it comes to Christmas time and wrapping, like, I don't cut very well. You know, I'm not a straight cutter at all. It takes a lot for me to to cut right. And uh, so, wrapping, oh, I am not a good wrap, gift wrapper. I do the best I can, and uh, that's about it. <laughs> My husband can wrap better than I can. He definitely can wrap gifts better. Now, if they're in a box or something like that, that's different. You like to wrap presents, though? Oh, really? It's calming to you. Huh, interesting. Bring it up a little closer so you guys can see the texture that's coming on here and how it's looking. I'll probably add, well, I'll add the paintbrush and then probably add like some words, say art or create or something like that. Maybe something like that.
The next color I'm going to use is also a F Della Rowney FW Pearlescent, and it is going to be Galactic Blue. make sure I haven't used this one in a while either let me make sure that it's gonna come out all right okay good 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 I can't wait till um, I feel ready to start doing my glitter uh, epoxy resin tumblers. I have the little spinner thing. I'm going to do it, set it right on my desk, and I'm going to do it live. I have everything I need. I just haven't got the nerve up to do it yet. I have to, you know, I my daughter does it. She, she has her little business selling them and stuff, and she does so well. So I've gotten a few pointers from her, but I just, I have to kind of, I guess, psych myself up for it. You know, I'm, I'm nervous about doing it, but I know I can do it. I'm just nervous about it. I already have the stainless steel cup, so when I do do it, I'll be putting uh, those up in the Zibit store as well. I've played with resin a little bit, like the molds. I've done a few molds. Um, I've resined one, one canvas piece before. So it, it's, it's very fun. It's beautiful what it, how it looks and everything. So I can't wait to start. I have so many glitters and the, I have the spinet glitters to try it with. And so I'm really excited. I just got to do it. Just got to get the nerve up and do it. All right. The last color that I'm going to add is the FW. Um, what color is it? Sam Violet. Okay. Sam T. Violet. Okay. That's a different one, but it's purple. Of course. My favorite color, but I'm going to try not to add too much of it. If I do add too much, I do have white. I might add a little in here. So I was wondering about that because I have a lot of resin, but I haven't opened them yet. As long as I don't open it, do you think it'll be fine? Like, I have art resin. So, hopefully, it doesn't turn yellow. They're not open yet. So, only the one container is.
Oh, okay. So what have you done with your resin? Have you done the tumblers or not? Do you do you do a lot of resin things or what kind of crafting do you like to do? I'll have to I'm gonna check out your channel. I'm going to see what you do, what you got going on. Oh, I've wondered about how those work. I see the, the thing, how's it say geode, maybe? Um, I've seen the little kits at Michael's, but I, I'm curious to what it is and how you do it. You know, that's I'm going to have to look that up. Oh, I know. Me neither. I live in an RV, so we we share our time here, my, me and my husband. You know, if he's watching TV and stuff, you know, uh, I can't really go live. Sometimes I do when he's watching TV. He'll just turn it down very low, but, you know, I don't like to do that often, you know. So when he goes to work, things like that, I'll try to go live. And But I, we live in our RV full time. Or you know, a travel trailer. It's uh it's not a motorized one. It doesn't have an engine. It's just um, a travel trailer. I have problems with making my own videos. I like to go live a lot, but everyone tells me you should do videos. But I have a problem with that because it, it just, talking to myself feels a little weird, but I got, I guess you just, I got to get past that. All right. I'm thinking I want to, because I'm going to paint the paintbrush black. So I'm thinking I want to. And my edge, I'm going to do my edging black, and I'm going to have this like right, right here or right here, no, right here, probably, and then art right there. I was wondering if I should do black splatters. I wonder if that would look good. Hmm. Oh, you hate your voice. Yeah, I don't have a very perfect voice either, but uh, it's what we got. So I don't think too many people worry about that. I mean, some might, but you know what? Forget about them, you know. I'm going to do light. Or wait a minute. I'm going to add some black circles is what I'm going to do. That's what I'll do. Some little black circles. And I will just use, let's see, what do I want to use for my little circles? I'll use this. Oh, yeah, I like that. Paint your art out. <laughs> I like that. So 
So let's put some black circles on here. Uh-oh, you're charging your stuff up, honey? Yeah. You're going to go out today? No. <laughs> My husband's hobby is uh, his RC cars. He's got quite a few of them, rock crawlers and things like that. So he's going to go out and do that, I guess, today. Oh, I know. I love adding circles and bubble wrap. Oh, yeah, me too. Definitely a bubble wrap kind of person. Whoa. I think I like the circles better than I would have liked the black splatters. I bet. Oh, I love remote control stuff like that. I have a few myself. Yeah, there's fun. Isn't that's my second hobby is RC cars and stuff, remote control vehicles. I have some fast ones and I have one little rock crawler. It was my um my other son. Uh he, he passed away when he was nineteen from leukemia, so um, I took over his little rock crawler that he had. He's the whole reason why I'm uh, a crafter right now. Um, I got into crafting about, about a year, almost one year after he passed away, and um, I haven't stopped since, and it, I'm going on my third year now. Yes, thank you. I know where he's at. He's in a very safe place. No more hurting, no more pain. Nothing can hurt him ever again. And I know he's looking at me now thinking, wow, mom, I didn't think you're going to get this creative because I didn't have a hobby when I was growing up or when they were growing up. You know, my hobby basically was taking care of my four kids full time. <laughs> didn't have time to really do a hobby and I worked some not a whole lot but I worked a little bit I was mostly a stay-at-home mom
All right, I am going to add some um, of this It's, let me find the clear one. There it is. This, it's called, um, I've never seen it before. I got them at Tuesday morning. Spectrum Noir Sparkle. It's glitter ink. This one is clear. I have colored ones, but this one is the clear one. So I'm going to add some more sparkle along with the pearlescents that are on there. Oh, I'm telling you, I know, right? I mean, there are new things that keep coming out. It's like I keep going from one thing to the next. My husband's like, well, what do you need now? What do you need now? Why do you need that? You know, because I keep getting different things. Every time I turn around, I need something else to go with something else. I don't know if you can see the shine, but it's so sparkly. Let's see. No, probably not. It's so I'll take pictures and I'll post it in my group after this. If you're not a, a member, you want to see more of my crafts that I do. Um, I have a group. Sometimes we do swaps and things like that if you like them. Otherwise, we just post our artwork. But it's called... Um, Craft with Teresa. Here it's on YouTube. It's Crafts by Teresa, but on my YouTube or my Facebook group, it's Craft with Teresa. And you have to see how my name is spelt. Uh, it's spelt very different than you know. Nobody I know, but my aunt has the name spelt like this. So you have to spell it that way to be able to find it. I'm going to do my edges in black. Move this. We don't need this anymore. Yeah, swaps are fun. I think so, too. RJ, go lay down. RJ, go lay down. Hi, Janie. Good morning. Oh, thank you. I will. Let me see. I'll approve you right now. There you go. You're all ready to go in. I appreciate that. Um, I like I was saying earlier, I'm going live on my friend's channel with uh, it's Tina's Crafty Life. I'll be going live with her and Kathy. And tonight, they do this every Wednesday, and they've invited me to do it along with them. They've been doing it for quite some time, like I'm talking a few years or something like that. But um, tonight, we're going to be altering clothespins. Oh, good. I'm glad you can see. Sometimes you can't see the shine. Sometimes you can't.
And I just, I never it knew about the edging uh, things at first. And then once I started, I was like, oh, that looks so beautiful when people do the edges of stuff. And now I pretty much try to do it all the time. I do forget sometimes. Now I need to use the smaller one. Yeah, not me anymore either. Yeah, I like having colored edges. It's not always black either. It's sometimes different colors. Now let's try to get this inside here. Let's see. Went a little much on that side, but that's okay. It's art. It doesn't have to be perfect. I have so much black paint, so I do not save my black little extra paint areas right here. I have more black paint than I need. Let me just dry these edges really quick. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I, I did the mask not too long ago. But I, the first paint palette I did, I just thought that the brushes, unless you do a close-up of it, you really couldn't tell about the brushes. That's why I'm going to paint this one black, you know, to try to kind of so you can really see the, you know, the brush in it. I appreciate that. Thank you for looking at my my crafts. Mostly I post in there. Every once in a while, a few other people will. But I'm I'm new. I'm just an itty bitty tiny little group. But I guess that's where everybody starts, right? Okay, let me see what letters. I hope I have. Okay, they are black. All right. I was hoping that they were black. I didn't know for sure. But I'm going to I'm going to paint the brush black, but I think I'm going to make the bristles add um Set this aside. I think I'm going to make the bristles, um, do them a little bit of white gesso. How often can you give that to him, honey? Once a day. Oh, once a day. Thank you. 
Oh yeah, I did. I got. <laughs> Thank you. I got real addicted to doing my puzzle pieces. <laughs> I, I've done a lot. I don't think I've posted all the ones that I've done either. <laughs> that that's what I do. That's that's my day. You know, I, I get up, do what house cleaning I need R V cleaning, I'm sorry, that I need to do and do you know, whatever thing whatever else needs to be taken care of and then I uh come to my desk and start creating whatever my mind feels like creating. All right, so now I'm going to do the black. This a dry. Oh, I like steampunk. I'm just starting to get familiar with it a little bit. Yeah, I have some smaller ones too. I just haven't done anything with them yet. Oh, you've done paint pour on them. Oh, I didn't think about that. I love doing paint pours too. Oh, I can do the paint pours on the bigger ones too. Oh, see what you've done to me. <laughs> hmm, giving me some ideas. I definitely want to do a paint pour on one of my bigger pieces now. But that's how things work, you know, we we help inspire one another. get nervous about little areas I got to be careful because I don't have a very steady hand at all
All right. Let me just clean this up a little bit. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> I just see Nat Kilburns. Oh, I bet you need to do something else. Thank you. Thank you both for coming in. I appreciate it. Hope to see you both again sometime. Let's try this side now. Give me just a second. I'm going to pour myself a little something to drink in my cup. I'll be right there. dry enough. Let's see. I was going to have it like this. And I'm going to spill the word art out. There's an A. A-R-T. There we go. that. Let's see. Thank you very much. Um, let's see. And then I think I'm going to add Do I want the white ones? Or 
our mousse. I think I'm going to put a little bit of color, um, just a little bit of pink color on the edge of this paintbrush to make it look like it was used. Just using some archival ink here. Give it some color. Where's he going, Ray? Coming to California? Yeah, I think that makes it look better. All right, let's get the... want instead of white I have different colors let's use Cathedral City and hot desert hot springs oh that's where oh okay you should come ray so i can meet you <laughs> you should definitely come here let's see i'll do the little purple ones yeah purple is much better and one more purple. There we go. Now I just got my acrylic nails last week and I'm still trying to get used to using them while I'm crafting. He flies into Ontario. Oh, um, does he use a private service to pick him up? My husband does. That's what my husband does. I can recommend a private service a private car service that can pick him up very very reliable we pick up from ontario all the time these are stickers but um i'm going to add a little weld bond let's keep that there for now
you got to work. Oh, all right. Well, maybe someday, Ray, you know that? Maybe someday you can, and then we can meet. I would, that would be so awesome. Have you ever been out here? I don't remember if you've ever told me. Yeah, maybe next time. Oh, a few years ago? Oh, okay. Was it hot or was it nice weather? Because <laughs> if you come in the summer, you'll probably die. Well, you know, you have really bad heat and humidity, too, where you're at. Sometimes the heat index gets just about like us. I just finally got my first uh, little tube of um, E6000. Uh, I've heard lots of people talk about it and talk about it. I thought, nah, I'll never need it. Well, I'm glad I got it because it works better than Weld Bond. Way better. Dries faster. It's just much better. It does have the smell of chemical and stuff to it, but it's it's not bad. You know, it's just Yeah, it is very expensive, definitely. But yeah, April's a uh, April's very nice. It's it's a bit windy sometimes in April, but um, maybe not not so bad when when you were here. But um, let me see. So I want to add these in a way. Now, what about flowers or something? I think I just will leave it alone, leave it like that. I don't think it needs anything else, really. 
I could add a little butterfly, but it, it probably doesn't need it. A couple of little flowers. I don't know. I just don't know if it needs anything more. I think it's good just like it is. What do you guys think? Tell me. Should I add more or leave it like it is? For those of you that are watching... I kind of think I'll just leave it. I need a little bit of glue right here. I just seen that. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too, Ray. But sometimes I do like getting other people's opinion. But if your opinion is to leave it, and that's what I'm feeling, so I'm going to leave it. Thank you for your help very much. So there it is. My altered paint, wood paint board palette, whatever you call it. I am going to put a little thing on the back so you can hang it up. And uh, it will be going in my Etsy shop. Oh, not my Etsy. Sorry, I'm not Etsy no more. It will be in my Zibit shop. And I'm very reasonable priced. And, uh, oh, look, no, wait, this one's not my big one is. I'm sorry. My little, my little one I'm keeping for my RV because I, I, you know, it's small enough for me to hang it in here. But the bigger one I have, um, I'm going to be putting in my Zibit shop. But thank you for everyone that was watching. I'm going to, gonna go ahead and get going now because I got other things to do today and my hubby's gonna be leaving and um so I gotta take care of some things but uh thank you Janie I appreciate you all watching and hanging out with me um it's been two hours now so that's that's long enough for me <laughs> I need a little break and then gotta do a few things in my RV and and then I'll come back to crafting again. Not not go live, but I will be live tonight um, on uh, Tina's Crafty Life on that channel. We'll be altering clothespins. That's going to be very fun. I have a cool idea in mind. So if you want to see it, come to Tina's Crafty Life, her channel. And uh, you'll see the three of us alter some clothespins. But for now, I'm going to leave you guys. And um, we'll see you next time. Thank you all so much. I loved having you. Ray, Janie, and um, Brittany, and the rest of you that are here. You all have a wonderful day, and be safe. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.